Hello and welcome back to Hindustan Astrology. I'm Katya and in today's video we're going to talk about the May new moon for 2020. Now it's taking place on May 22nd at 1.38 p.m. EST at 7 degrees of Taurus in the nakshatra of Kritika. This means the one who cuts and the deity that belongs to this lunar mansion is Agni, the god of fire. The stars that belong to this nakshatra are a very famous cluster of stars called the Pleiades. Now these are known as the Weeping Sisters, and the mythology is about Kartikeya, who is a powerful warrior who was nursed to health by these seven sisters, but they are um, the Weeping Sisters because their husbands, um, you know, accused them of infidelity. So they felt it was unjust, and um, this um, position uh, in Taurus can indicate um, sorrow, but also success. Now there's another star in Taurus at two degrees called Algol. Now, Algol comes from the Arabic word uh, meaning alcohol. So this literally means losing your head and it can indicate decapitation. But just like alcohol can make you lose your head, um, planets that are two degrees of Taurus, it's a very uh, inauspicious point, let's say. Um, so we have a very interesting uh, cluster of planets today. We have four planets in retrograde, you guys. Now, <laughs> Taurus is ruled by Venus. Venus is retrograde. We've got Saturn retrograde, Jupiter, and Pluto. Now, Venus is sitting in Taurus with the Sun and Moon today, and also Mercury is there. So what does this all mean? Uh, basically, I feel what it's going to pan out to is um, money because Mercury is actual legal tender. Venus and Jupiter rule the things that money can buy and Venus is luxuries. Now at this time, on the 22nd, um, I know here in the state of Indiana, the 11th is when like hair salons can open and things like that, although it has to be by uh, an appointment and there's going to be a rolling out. I think there's four phases. So um, I feel like at this point, especially with Venus retrograde, uh, we're going to start to see some uh, money coming to many businesses that is being withheld you know, or has been withheld. Uh, but also this could indicate losing money. Now also I see this because this is the star of fire and cutting and chefs often have this prominent in their chart, um, engineers, butchers, uh, anybody who uses a knife, hairstylists, you know, all of that, um, anything that cuts is going to be in, uh, impacted. So restaurants. Um, so, I, you know, I really feel like with all these planets retrograde right now, this is indicating going back over old territory. And so this is just gonna be, you know, kind of two steps forward, one step back um, with this rolling out of the quarantine. Now, let's go through the 12 signs and see what houses all of this is taking place for you. So uh, remember, this is sidereal astrology. So I'm not using your Western sign. Um, if you don't know what it is, you can go to the chart, car, chat, eh, chart calculator on my website and uh, look up your chart. But usually it's the sign before what it is in Western. Not always, but many times. So for instance, if you're a sun in Cancer in Western, then in Vedic you would be sun in Gemini. But you should read this from your ascendant or moon sign, not necessarily your sun sign. So for Aries, uh, this new moon is taking place in your second house of money, the voice, speech, and blood family. Venus rules your second and seventh houses. Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto retrograde is taking place in your 10th house. So I feel like, you know, with that uh, retrograde in the 10th, your career has been feeling like, you know, it's taking forever to um, move forward. 
Uh, second house is money, so I think um, there's going to be some money that uh, money opportunities that come to you at this time. Um, maybe things from the past that you were wondering about. Um, so keep your eyes open for that, Aries. Taurus, this new moon is taking place in your first house of the self. Uh, the physical appearance, the head or the eyes, and Venus rules your first and sixth houses. Um, Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto retrograde is taking place in your ninth house. So you know what, Taurus, you really, this would be a great new moon for you to take a spa day. And I know it sounds trite, but honestly, um, it, you've got to do some self-care and take care of yourself. Ninth house, having the retrograde there, you know, you're, um, maybe you're working on some higher education right now and it's feeling, um, strained or difficult, like you're not making progress. And having this new moon in your first house, this is the appearance. This is time to, you know, focus on yourself. And um, also Venus rules your first and sixth houses, so your health. This is about self-care is health care, so don't forget Taurus. Gemini, this new moon is taking place in your 12th house of dreams, subconscious, foreign lands, hospitals, prisons, or temples. Venus rules your 12th and 5th houses. And Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto retrograde is taking place in your 8th house. So, Gemini, um, maybe you've been wanting to take um, some trips to foreign lands, maybe concerning education, maybe you're teaching or you're, maybe you're being taught. Uh, maybe your children are trying to go to foreign lands right now and they can't, their um, plans are being held back. Um, but having this uh, intense retrograde in your 8th house, um, you're going through a deep transformation, Gemini. You know, having Pluto retrograde in the 8th, this is intense. And um, you're probably having some vivid dreams right now during this new moon. And just pay attention. I feel like, you know, you might even be embarking upon a new path with your children or education or your, your creative projects. 5th house is creativity. So... Go with the flow, Gemini, and, and uh, listen to your dreams right now. Maybe take a dream journal. Cancer. This new moon is taking place in your 11th house of great gains, elder siblings, and communities. And Venus rules your 11th and 4th houses. And the Saturn-Jupiter-Pluto retrograde is taking place in your 7th house. Probably your spouse um, may be coming into some money they've been waiting on at this time. Um, you definitely are uh, meeting new people in your business um, or a new spouse if you're not married. Um, and also 11th house is community. So having a new moon there, you know, you're probably meeting a lot of new people right now, especially um, things that have to do with your career and your business. So this is fun. Um, especially, you know, having um, Venus rule your fourth house of the home. Um, you know, you could be making a lot of home improvements right now, too. So that's for Cancer. Now for Leo, this new moon is taking place in your 10th house of career, which is your reputation in your career, uh, and perhaps the father's money. Um, Venus rules your 10th and 3rd houses, and the Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto retrograde is taking place in your 6th house. So, Leo, probably, um, you know, you've been feeling frustrated um, in regards to your work, like the hands-on work that you actually do. Maybe you're not feeling like you're being recognized for your work right now um, because you've put so much energy into your work. Um, but you're having this new moon in your 10th house, so, you know, maybe that recognition is going to come to you at this time. Um, having Venus rule your 10th and 3rd houses, maybe some of the writings that you've done, communications, um, things with siblings, will get recognized at this time. Um, so, you know, don't be, don't feel frustrated with having all of those retrograde planets in your 6th house. Just keep plugging away, keep doing your work, and this, um, uh, what is due to you will come. Virgo. This new moon is taking place in your ninth house of the Father, long distance travel, higher education, and religions. Venus rules your ninth and second houses. Saturn, uh, Jupiter, Pluto retrograde is taking place in your fifth house. So, 
Having the new moon in your ninth house, uh, you know, maybe are you going back to school? Are you taking a new course at this time? Um, maybe, you know, it's very difficult for us all to travel right now, so maybe you're doing some online courses with people overseas uh, in higher education. Um, and also having the retrograde, you know, all those um, intense planets in your fifth house of creativity. Maybe your creative projects have felt stifled. Maybe you felt a writer's block. Um, and especially because they're going to be there retrograde for a while. So, um, you know, really focus on higher education. Um, Venus does rule your second house of money, and she's retrograde right now. So, you know, you may get some money coming to you that's due to you, which is excellent. <laughs> uh, but you also could lose money, too, being that um, the fifth house is involved, and that's speculation. So be careful. You know, you may gain money, but don't lose it by gambling on something silly. Okay, Libra. This new moon is taking place in your eighth house of transformation, inheritance, dark secrets, sex, and drugs. Venus rules your eighth and first houses. The Saturn-Jupiter-Pluto retrograde is taking place in your fourth house. So, Libra, um, having, you know, um, all of this uh, intense retrograde energy in your fourth house indicates the home. Um, and, um, you know, Venus rules the, your eighth house of inheritance. So, uh, you, you know, maybe dealing with inheritance and uh, real estate at this time. Maybe inheritance from the past and um, doing some things with real estate at this time. Now, having the new moon in your eighth house of transformation, um, which is the, also the house of inheritance, I really feel like... Um, uh, there could be some transformation. In other words, somebody could die at this time, uh, which would unlock all of that inheritance for you. Um, because Venus does rule your eighth and your first house, and that would bring it to you. So, Scorpio, this new moon is taking place in your seventh house of partnership, marriage and business partners, and also opponents. Venus rules your 7th and 12th houses, and the Saturn-Jupiter-Pluto retrograde is taking place in your 3rd house. So, Scorpio, um, you know, new moon in the 7th, that means uh, your marriage and business partnerships should also uh, flourish at this time. You know, I mean, Venus retrograde is there, maybe a love from your past is going to come to you and um, you're going to work things out or at least have some closure. And especially your third house is uh, included here. And third house is um, media communications. Um, if you're an artist, this would be your books, your music, you know, anything that you've created um, that communicates. Um, so those things um, could get activated at this time. And Venus rules your seventh and twelfth houses. So definitely money that's coming through partnerships. Uh, and maybe even foreign lands, new business partners and foreign lands at this time. Sagittarius, this new moon is taking place in your sixth house of service, hands-on work, enemies, and health. Venus rules your sixth and eleventh houses, and the Saturn-Jupiter-Pluto retrograde is taking place in your second house. So, Sagittarius, um, you know, new moon in the sixth, you're probably going to have some uh, new work. And, um, you know, sixth house, uh, when Venus is involved, can oftentimes indicate restaurants. So Sagittarius, you know, you might be um, having some work with um, food at this time, service, um, especially, you know, um, because Venus rules your sixth house. Um, if you haven't worked in a restaurant before, I wouldn't be surprised if you end up in one at this time, or at least um, helping out in some way. Now, the 11th house is involved, as Venus rules that, and that's communities. So having a Venus retrograde and, you know, uh, having Venus rule the 11th, you could um, run into friends from old communities that you used to hang out with, and, you know, something new could, could come from that. 
but uh, here's the thing, you know, that, that Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto retrograde is in your second house of money. So you've been feeling very frustrated, Sagittarius, with money. And um, you feel like things have been held back from you. But um, don't worry, there's going to be new opportunities for work with this new moon. Capricorn. The new moon is taking place in your fifth house of education, children, creativity, speculations, and short-term love affairs. Venus rules your 5th and 10th houses, and the Saturn-Jupiter-Pluto retrograde is taking place in your first house. Oh, Capricorn! Um, you know, having the new moon in your 5th house uh, is excellent. I mean, education should be doing well at this time if you're in school. If you're teaching, um, you know, I especially see something with children because, you know, Venus is retrograde there, Mercury is there right now, and that is the house of children and, and education. So, um, also I could see Capricorn if you've had fallings out with your children um, in the past. At, during this Venus retrograde, um, they're going to come to you now, and you guys are going to, you know, talk at least. Uh, you may not work it out, but at least you're going to have some contact probably during this Venus retrograde. Um, but having the new moon in your fifth house, it's excellent for, you know, your projects, uh, education, children, and uh, Venus also rules your tenth house of career. So this is all going to um, affect your career and benefit that as well. Aquarius. This new moon is taking place in your fourth house of the mother, the home, and the homeland, and real estate. Venus rules your fourth and ninth houses. And the Saturn-Jupiter-Pluto retrograde is taking place in your 12th house. So, Aquarius, um, you know, having this intense retrograde in the 12th house, you're probably having some crazy dreams right now. <laughs> Especially over the summer as these planets are all going to stay retrograde for a while. Um, and you may have felt frustrated with um, hospitals and prisons and... Any kind of places of confinement, maybe um, even family members in foreign lands have been affected, especially with this uh, COVID-19. And you've been un unable to, you know, do anything about it. That's frustrating. Um, the new moon is in the fourth house of, you know, the mother in real estate. So you could very well have... Um, you know, a new turn in the road when it comes to if you've been trying to purchase property. Um, if you've been working on your home at this time, or if you've, um, if your mother's still around, you know, having something going on with her at this time. You know, maybe she's, um, uh, needs to be the focus right now during the new moon. And uh, Venus also rules your fourth and the ninth house. So that's the mother and the father. So I think that this Venus retrograde is going to take you into contact with your parents again and you're going to have reconnections with them at this time. Pisces, the last sign, but not the least. <laughs> this new moon is taking place in your third house of communications and media, writings, siblings, and short distance travel. Venus rules your third and eighth houses. The Saturn-Jupiter-Pluto retrograde is taking place in your 11th house. So, Pisces, um, gosh, you know, having the retrograde uh, in the 11th house of, of communities and great gains, maybe you've had some money held back to you by um, elder siblings or family members that are older uh, at this time. And um, this new moon on the 22nd in your third house, you're going to find out some new information regarding um, why things have been held up, uh, up, especially regarding your inheritance, because guess what? Venus rules your third and your eighth houses. So for sure right now, Pisces, um, there's been some shenanigans and dark secrets um, going on behind your back concerning your inheritance and um, at this time, you're going to find out what's going on. So, Pisces, get a lawyer. <laughs> so, um, I hope that helps you guys. Um, you know, this is going to be uh, an intense, you know, new moon before next month, uh, June, where we have 
first the lunar eclipse and then the solar. So, um, you know, just uh, use this powerful energy of the star of fire, which is what Kritika is, and ignite your own fire and, um, you know, stay positive. Okay, you guys? All right. Namaste.